So here we have a uh, example of a CAN cable and this is what's used in FRC and with our crosslink control system to you to communicate over CAN to the Jaguar speed controllers or any other CAN node that you may um, develop on your own or buy and this is just a standard uh, four conductor cable although only two conductors are really needed for CAN um, CAN high and CAN low this this cable has four conductors on it um, so the connector we're using is a 6P4C connector RJ11 type and what that means is there's six places but only four contacts so one two three four gold contacts and um, this particular connector is gold plated contact so it's a, it's a fairly reliable connector. They're about 27 cents a piece um, if you buy them from uh, our website www.crossthroadelectronics.com and the cable is about 50 cents a foot and that's also from our website um, and it, they're fairly easy to make so uh, we're gonna go over today how to make uh, your own CAN cables save yourself a little time and money much easier to make than PWM cables, much more reliable, uh, much faster to make, and a lot less expensive. So if you're considering using CAN, this is one definite bonus um, for using um, using CAN, is, is, the, is the cabling is much simpler, much easier to make, and much more secure. These actually lock into the device, so whatever your CAN node may be. So here we have a piece of the flat four conductor cable I spoke of earlier. We also have uh, some uh, connectors, a couple connectors sitting here that have not been crimped yet. And uh, we also have this crimping tool, which is a uh, just a standard Cat5 crimping tool. If you notice, it says RJ11 right here and uh, 6P right here that means that um, this is the the section of the crimper we're going to be using this is also good for crimping Ethernet cables and you can buy these at uh, Micro Center you can buy them at um, any computer store that sells Ethernet cable this device here also comes with the Ethernet uh, crimping tool or the uh, connector crimping tool and this device is just simply a cable stripper it um, like I said it came with the tool, the tool is about 10 or 15 bucks at Micro Center um, we do not sell these on our website yet and this tool right here strips both Cat5 and the flat conductor cable used in telecommunications and the flat conductor cable used for CAN and it also cuts it so I'll give you a little demonstration on how the cutting tool works you got this little guide right here and you want to make sure your cable is flat up against that to get a nice square 90 degree cut and then you just simply squeeze and that's it and the little piece falls out maybe right there and we have our clean 90 degree cut. So let's uh, let's cut our cable. Let's make it a little shorter. So we want to go up against here. Our little make make our cut very square. So we have our little uh, guide, and then we squeeze, and there we go. And there's our uh, our little example cable. And are you ever going to make one this short? Probably not, but, you know, this is just for uh, educational purposes. So now we need to strip back this cable and expose the four conductors that are color-coded on the inside. So this device, this stripping tool, has a little stop inside of here. And I, I use this stop because it's exactly the right depth for the uh, RJ11 6P 4C connector. And so here we go. We're going to put this piece, this uh, cable in. We're going to squeeze down. Whoop. 
Hey, let's turn this the right way. See? Very easy to make a mistake. <laughs> We're going to put this in here uh, on the cutting side of the stripper. We're going to have this make sure that our cable end is up against this stop that I showed you earlier and we're simply going to squeeze down and then pull. And as you can see we have our four conductors exposed. We have black, red, green, and yellow. And now we simply take our connector, our uh, connector end here, and there is, there is a right way to do this. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as the end result is that these tabs are opposite of each other on each end. So this tab would be up and this tab would be down. But the correct color coding is if you were to hold this connector with the tab up, if you go to our website on the cable page, on the CAN cable page, there is a uh, uh, image of this connector in this view. So you're looking at it from the back with all of the colors of the cable inserted how our pre-made cables come. Now if you flip-flop this does it matter? Well technically no as long as like I said the tabs are opposite of each other however um, the black cable here is uh, ground so you want to make sure that you know on your pinout of either the Jaguar or the Toucan that that pin is actually tied to ground so it's good to make it a color that's an accepted standard for ground which is black and um, so so that's why that's really the only reason it, it, it it's relevant that you insert it correctly so if you hold this connector this way and you look at um, the rear of it with the tab up the yellow should go on the right side of the connector as you're holding it looking at it from the rear with the tab up so now that we have the one end on, we simply insert it into our crimping tool. You'll hear it click, or you'll feel it snap in, and then we squeeze. And then we push on the tab and remove it. And if you notice, I'm going to look inside here. We're going to see. All of the contacts are pushed down, not sticking up like they do when the connector is not crimped. And we're going to do the same to the other end. We're going to strip that end back and clean out this little piece here. Make sure it's up against the stop. Whoop, see, we didn't get a good crimp there. That's not good. Something happened there. Looks like we pulled the cable out a little bit. See that right there? That's no good. That could cause problems. So what we're simply going to do, and this is the nice thing about these types of cables, is we're just going to clip that end off using our cutting tool so it's nice and clean. All right, we lose a quarter inch maybe. No big deal. You always make your cables a little longer than you need to anyway. And... Uh, then we're going to restrip it. We go back into our stripping tool, squeeze down, and pull. And there we go. Now we have a good, good, nice, evenly distributed strip, and all of the conductors are flush. So now we have our tab up on this connector, and it's very simple. We don't even have to look at the color coding. We just make sure that the tab is down on this end. We insert it, make sure that the insulation is conductors are all the way to the front of the of the of the connector and then we simply insert our connector into our crimping tool again and we squeeze and we remove the connector we give it a little pull test make sure everything's good you can also check it for continuity if you want um, there's testers that you can buy for five or six bucks also at micro center that test this type of cabling but if you stripped it and followed these, this procedure and um, stripped it correctly and made sure everything was 90 degrees and visually inspected each one and gave it a little pull test, then uh, you're probably good to go. Um, if you wanted to verify that your cable is good, you could also use the Toucan, have it set up with the Jaguar, 
and just one Jaguar with your termination resistors in place or at least one, you don't need one with the two can because it has one built in and using the web dash you can plug the cable in and if on the main page if these uh, in text below turns from red to green you have a good cable if it goes from green to red when you remove the cable it means you've lost uh, can connectivity and it'll tell you you know check can cabling check termination and that's one way you could test these cables if for all you two can users out there or simply just view the web dash status tab and you'll see all your information go you know, disappear <laughs> and your and, and any of your speed controllers when you remove the uh, the cable or if the cable's bad um, that's it you can uh, find more information at www.crosstheroadelectronics.com you can also find a schematic and you can find um, these connectors and cables and cable you can buy it by the foot where you can buy these cables pre-assembled in uh, 10 and 24 inch lengths uh, at, at that website as well.